In this video, we'll cover how to work with all over prints in vStitcher and how to integrate Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop into our workflow. We'll begin with the pre-made multicolor all over print using Adobe Illustrator. Later, we'll use predefined Illustrator color swatches in vStitcher. First, let's save the Illustrator color swatches as an ASE file so we can export the swatches into vStitcher. We click the menu icon, then click Save Swatch Library as ASE. Now let's import the artwork we created. We go to Materials and select Add Artwork. Then we go to Color Libraries, click on the plus button, and select the ASE file. We place the print on the pattern pieces by using the Assign tool, or by dragging and dropping the print on the piece. In the context view, we select All Over Print. Then, we choose Replace All, or use the Assign tool to assign the fabric manually. As designers, we want to ensure that the size of the artwork best fits the garment. In vStitcher, we can see a much clearer view of scaling an All Over Print on a garment when we place it on a 3D avatar, instead of simply viewing it in 2D. First, we select the Texture tool. Then we change the print size and rotation by turning on the gizmo tool or dragging the print inside the pattern pieces. Dragging works especially well with tartan or striped patterns. To scale the print more accurately, we go to the context view and input the exact measurements. Finally, we select Use Lower Layer Maps to incorporate the print in the fabric structure. When we assign a new print over the current print, we can freely modify size, rotation, position, color, and shape separately for each print. We can also change the layer order of the prints, or delete a print from a specific fabric group. We can use the predefined color library to recolor the current print. Or to create a new colorways print. Now let's add artwork, a Photoshop PSD file, as a placement print. Let's assign new artwork across all colorways. We can use all Photoshop features, including layering, masking, and other effects, and transfer them to vStitcher for editing. Note that in Preferences, under Images and Colors, Detect Changes to Source Texture Files must be enabled so that any changes we make to artwork outside of vStitcher are automatically replicated in vStitcher. However, if we do make any changes to an original file outside vStitcher, this does not affect the print in the grouped fabric. There you have it! The professional way to work with prints in vStitcher. To learn more about prints, go to support.browser.com.